Hi guys and welcome back to another Tech Tutor Thursday video. Last week we learned how to use Gmail for email services and this week we are going to go over other Google services including Google Drive, Docs, and Slides. A Google account is free to make and is an excellent alternative to Microsoft Office products such as Word and PowerPoint if you don't have access to those. In addition to that, Google Drive allows you to save tons of files for free in the cloud, meaning you can access them from any device as long as you have your Google login information. So let's get started. Okay, so last week we went over how to create a Google account. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and check out that video to get your account made and then head back over to this video. The first thing that we are going to do is start on google.com and then I'm going to come to the top right hand corner of the page and click sign in. So now I'm going to enter my email address and click next. And then I'm going to enter my password and click next. I have two-factor verification set up on my account, so I had to approve that real quick. And then now here we are back on Google's website, except this time I am signed in. And we can tell because I can see my icon up here in the top right-hand corner of the page. Okay, so the first thing that I am going to point out here are the links at the top of the page right here. Um, if we just wanted to check our email account, we could just come up here and click Gmail. Um, clicking your icon here in the corner allows you to sign out or manage your Google account. Um, but this little grid icon here is what I want to um, focus on today. So I'm going to click on this. And then we see we have several more Google apps here that we could access with our account. So as you can see, we could also use this menu to get to our Gmail. But today we are going to focus on Google Drive. Google Docs and Google Slides. So Google Docs and Google Slides are down here. Um, but I always like to start by going to my Google Drive. So I'm going to click on Drive right here. Okay, so this is what the Google Drive looks like. Drive is comparable to your computer file storage, except that it exists in the cloud and you need to sign into Google to access your files. Because Google Drive is cloud-based, you can access your Google Drive from any computer or device so long as you know your email address and your password to sign in. So that is pretty useful so that you aren't restricted to one computer or device. First, I'm going to point out different things about Google's, Google Drive's layout. So at the top of the page here, we have quick access. So these are the most recently opened, edited, created documents in your Google Drive. Any file, including both docs and slides, will appear here depending on what you have worked on most recently and what types of files you have in your drive. This will also tell you when you last edited a document right here. Above that, we can search within our Google Drive, so this is helpful if you are having a hard time finding a file. Below our quick access documents, we have our files. I like to use folders, so most of mine are organized into folders, but we can see the names of the files and then when they were last edited here. Right here um, at the top, we can change the view we look at our files by. I like list view, but we can also change it to grid view. Above that in the corner, we have our settings, we have the grid menu, um, and this lets us move around to different apps in Google, like I already pointed out. And then we have our icon here um, where we can see our account, we can um, sign out, add another account, manage our Google account, etc. Um, below that, we have these little icons. So first we have our Google Calendar. Um, and then we have Google Keep, which is kind of like um, Google's version of Notes. And then below that, we have Google Tasks, which lets us make different to-do lists in Google. And then on the left-hand side of the page over here, we have another menu. Um, so first of all, we have the New button, which allows us to create new documents, folders um, in our drive. Um, and we will go over that more in a moment. And then below that, we have My Drive, which we are currently on. This shows everything in your Google Drive. Below that, we have Shared With Me. So these could be documents, slides, um, anything in Google can be shared between other users. So you can share documents with other people. Um, and if something has been shared with you, this is where it will appear. 
Below that, we have our recent folder. So this will show documents, slides, etc. that you have accessed recently. It even organizes things by when they were last accessed. Um, below that, we have our starred files. Um, so you can star your files or essentially mark them as important so that you can find them easier in this folder. Below that, we have our trash, which is pretty self-explanatory. Anything you delete um, will be in the trash folder. And then under that, underneath that, we have our storage. So you can see how much cloud storage you have used, how much is left, um, and how much each file uses. Okay, so most anything you would need to do in Drive can be done by clicking New up here at the top. Here you can create a new folder, you can upload a file from your computer, you could upload a folder from your computer, and then we have um, right down here we can create a new Google Doc. So a few moments ago when I demonstrated the grid menu over here at the top of the page, I pointed out that you could access Google Docs from there. If you were to come here to New and then down here to Google Docs, you will then um, be able to click on this little arrow. And the arrow gives you the option to create a new blank document or choose from a template. So if you click from a template, it takes you to the Google Docs page, the same page that is reachable from the top menu. So that is why I prefer to always begin at the Google Drive, because that way I can always create a new Google Doc, a new um, Google Slide, while I can also already see all of the other files that I've already created in my Drive. If you were just to click right here on Google Docs, it will create a new blank document, um, but we will come back to Google Docs in just a moment. Below that, we have Google Sheets, which is essentially the Google version of Microsoft Excel. And then below that, we have um, Google Slides. So this is the same as my Google Docs explanation just a second ago. Um, you can click here on Google Slides and it will, be, um, it will create a new blank document, or you can click on this little arrow, and then you have the option to um, create a new Google Slides presentation from a blank presentation or from a template. So again, if you chose from a template, it would take you to that Google Slides page, which is also accessible from the menu to all of the other Google apps. Um, again, we're going to go over this in a second more. And then down here we have this, um, the last option here, which reads more. And so this gives us the option to access a number of other Google apps that I am not going to get into today, um, but definitely worth checking out if you are interested in those. Okay, so now that we have gone over everything in the Google Drive, I'm going to demonstrate what a Google Doc looks like and the different editing tools we can use. So the first thing we are going to do is come up here to the New button, and then down to Google Docs, and then I'm going to click on this arrow. So just clicking on Google Docs brings up a new blank Google document. So if you are in need of a template for a resume or anything, you will want to click this arrow and then click from a template. Like I pointed out before, you could also retrieve this page by coming to the grid menu and then going straight to Google Docs. I just prefer to access these from my Google Drive. So here we have the Google Docs page, and there are quite a few templates to choose from, including resumes, lesson plans, reports, um, essays, we have res uh, recipes, and then we have project proposals, new newsletters, um, things like that. So this is similar to Microsoft Word, which offers a number of templates as well. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I am going to come back up to the top and I am just going to select a blank document. The layout here is somewhat similar to Word, so if you are familiar with that, you shouldn't have too many issues here. Um, at the very top of the page, we can name our document. Below that, we have these different menu options, including files. So this is where we can come to create a new document. We can open documents. We can download this um, to our computer. We can rename it. Um, and then down at the bottom, we could print it. Next to that, we have the edit option. So this allows us to use tools such as undo, redo, um, cut, copy, and paste, as well as find and replace. 
Next to that, we have view. So this gives us the option to change the way we view our document as we work. So it always automatically um, shows us this ruler at the top of the page. If we didn't want that ruler there, we could come here and turn that off. Next to that, we have insert. So this is very similar to Word. Um, this is where we can come to insert things into our document, such as images, tables, drawings, charts, lines, um, even special characters, headers, and footers, and page numbers. Format is also very similar to Word. Um, this is where we can change the format of our document, including things such as um, the text, paragraph styles, alignment and indentations, line spacing, columns, and then we can add bullet points in numbered lists, as well as page numbers um, and headers and footers. Finally, we have tools right here. So this includes tools such as spelling and grammar, word count, um, we have a dictionary, um, we could translate the document, um, etc. Finally, we have add-ons and help. I'm not going to go over these, um, but if you need some more help using Google Docs, you could come right here. And then that brings us to this menu directly above the document. So this is what I use the most to edit my documents. Um, first, right here, we can undo actions, we can redo, we have a print button, uh, we have spelling and grammar check. Right here, we can zoom in on the page. We can change the um, text style in our document. We can change the font of our document as well as the font size. And then we can make things um, bold, italicize, underlines, and then we can change our text color and then highlight. So that is pretty helpful as well. At the top here, we can use the share button to share our document with others. We can do that either, um, Oh, I need to name this first. So I'm just going to name it Google. Click Save. So we can share this document either by email or by a link. So if you are working with someone for a group project or um, for work, you can share that and then you can all work collaboratively. You can also add comments to your Google Doc. So let's just type hello here and then we could add and then we could add a comment to the document by coming right here and clicking add a comment. So that is also helpful if you are working with others um, or even if you need to leave reminders for yourself um, of things you need to do later on in the document. And finally, since Google operates in the cloud, it usually saves our work as we go. Um, so you typically do not have to worry about saving your work every so often like you would with Microsoft Word. At the top here, as you're typing, it will say um, saving and then this iCloud icon will appear and say um, save to drive. It will also tell you that right here, uh, my last edit made, was uh, made seconds ago. Um, so you know when the document was last edited and then it will just save as you go. And finally, that brings us to Google Slides. So when you're all done with the Google Doc and you're, um, you know that every, all of your work has saved, you can go ahead and just exit out of the Google Doc you're working in. So again, I am back at my Google Drive and I'm going to come here to New and then down to Google Slides. Um, I could just click here on Google Slides and open up a new blank um, presentation, but I'm going to click on the arrow and then click from a template. Just like with Google Docs, we could also come to the grid menu and then click on Google Slides and that would bring us to this exact same page. So now we could choose a blank presentation or we have a number of templates to choose from. There aren't as many as with Google Docs, but we could also edit the colors and fonts once we choose a template to make it our own. So I'm just going to come up to the top and select a blank document. Again, this works pretty similarly to PowerPoint. So if you are familiar with PowerPoint, this should be pretty straightforward. Um, to the right, we can choose a theme for our presentation. So let's say um, I like this one here. I can just click on it and then it's going to change my slides to that theme. At the top, again, we can name our presentation. So let's just name it slides. And then again, we can see this little, um, we can see our document status. And then beside that, as we type things, it will say saving. Um, and then it will tell us once it's saved to our Google Drive. 
Below that, we have these menu options, which are similar to the ones in Google Docs. Um, so first, again, we have file. So again, this is where we can um, make a new uh, presentation. We can open a presentation. Um, we can download it, rename it, um, or print it. Next to that, we have edit. So again, these are just the same as with Google Docs. We can undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, and then find and replace. View allows us to change the way we are viewing our slides, um, or we could also put it into present mode, which is full screen. Next to that, we have insert, which again, it's pretty much the same, um, a little different for slides. We can add images, text box, audio, video, shapes, tables, charts. Um, we could come down here and add a new slide, all kinds of things. Again, we have format, so once we get text into our slides, we could edit our text using the format tab. Um, this includes things such as line spacing, bullet points and numbered lists, tables, images, um, alignment, and indentations. Next, we have slides, so this is where we can come to add a new slide, to duplicate a slide, delete a slide, skip a slide, um, so on and so forth. A range here is also um, relates to the text in our slides, um, so we could align it, distribute it, rotate it, etc. And finally, we have tools, so we could do um, spell check, we could use the dictionary, we could explore on the web, all that good stuff. Below that, we have editing tools that we can access more quickly as we're working. Um, so right here, we can add a new slide, we can choose the layout of the slide that we want to add. Again, we have undo and redo, we have print, um, we can zoom in on the page, we have um, the select function, we can add a text box, add an image, shapes, and lines, um, and then we can add a comment into the um, presentation for others to see. We can change the background of our slides, and then we can come over here and change the layout, themes, and transitions. At the bottom of the page here, we can add speaker notes just like you can in PowerPoint. At the top, you can click um, present here and it will make it full screen into presentation mode where all you see is the slides. And then again, we have the share option which allows us to share our presentation with others by email or by link. And so that is pretty much all there is to it. And again, when you are all done working in slides, um, you can come up here to make sure everything has saved, and then you can just exit out of that tab. So now we are at, back at Google Drive, and that wraps up this week's Tech Tutor video. I hope you enjoyed this or found it helpful, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me by email at kcottrell.seolibraries.org or at my drop-in hours in the upstairs adult department of the library on Mondays and Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and Fridays from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. You can also make an appointment with me outside of those drop-in hours by sending me an email, signing up for an appointment in the library at the circulation desk, or giving us a call at 740-335-2540. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next week.